Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Janie's Crazy Life. It is Saturday morning, and I'm up with the chickens. Literally, I'm up with the chickens. Physically, I'm up with the chickens. I mean, I'm up with the chickens. Mr. Rooster woke me up at 4.45-ish. You know, it was around 4.45. But Mr. Rooster's woke me up. I got a bite or something right here. But, yeah, but it's beautiful morning. I'll flip you guys around and show you. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sitting on the front porch at Bevels and Wes's. And there are noisy critters over here. I got one right down here. I don't know if you can see her. You know, see her? There's a chicken under there. Yep. There's one chicken under there. I don't know if she's hiding from the rest of them. Trying to get some sleep or what. There's one there. But. Don't worry you guys. I will tell you why I'm here. I'm going to show you when I tell you. So you guys will see it in a bit. I don't want to wake up Bevels and Wes yet. I keep yawning. But I think I'm just not an early morning person. I know I slept good. Let me turn you back. I know I slept good because um, the interesting thing about Bevels and Wes is that they're like, I want to say, off gridders they do a lot of stuff the old-fashioned way which is really cool my book um so they don't have electricity so they do everything with um solar so you know it's 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 fresh it's free it's i guess environmentally uh, better you know better for the environment but they live <coughs> They live um, more like you used to live, you know. They just, they don't, it's just really cool the way they live. And Bevels is like, I keep telling you she needs to have her own channel uh, because I think she would be very interesting to watch. But I stay in a little cabin they have, which was their first home they lived in. And with being no electricity, once evening starts to hit you know it gets dark so I was sitting at the table um, in the other part of their of their pro in their other building they live in and uh, my eyes were getting heavy and heavy and I said I think I'll I said I'm waiting for dark to come she's well the room's dark and <laughs> she wasn't kidding I went over here washed up for bed and oh, I could it was light out outside and it was dark in the bedroom but that's okay. I rolled over. I played one way and boom, I was out for the count. So, needless to say, nothing woke me up until 4.45 ish this morning when this one rooster, I swear, this rooster, he, he must have circled the property. And he's really loud compared to the other roosters. So, and I swear he likes to... He likes to crow right underneath the bedroom window. <laughs> I swear he does, because that used to be their bedroom. So I swear that rooster crows underneath the window. <laughs> and then when he would crow, the others would respond. So it's been that way since 4.45 this morning. And now it's... I don't know what time it is now. Seven-ish? So for three hours, they've been going at it. This is a noisy little property first thing in the morning. Y'all hear that? It's like their world has woke up. Hear that? 
But I think I'm going to go back inside and grab my quilt and curl up on the chair until they wake up next door. And uh, <laughs> here we go. They're getting it's like they're singing out here between the that and the birds. It's a noisy, and it's a noisy household. Their cow is looking at me like, Oh, what are you doing here? Yeah, her cow is looking at me. I haven't met her cow yet or her pig, so maybe I'll meet them on this trip. The noisy bunch. Noisy bunch. Okay, you guys, this is what I did. I'm buying an old schoolhouse house. This was built in 1935. It was a one-room schoolhouse. And I bought it. That's the thing I'm working on this week, buying this. So, has front steps. We've been working on it all day. There's the front porch. Wes put a lock on it. You walk into a room. You walk into the next room. Then we have a kitchen. We have a back utility room. Then we have a bedroom. And we have the famous Flowerty room, which will be an art studio. Look at those ceilings. That hole right there is where the old bell school bell used to be. So this is what I did. This is what I did. This is why I came to Kentucky. This is why I came to Kentucky. We've been working on it all day. Old metal cabinets, old sink. We've been scrubbing with no water, so. Because unfortunately, look at that window back there. It opens up. When we had the water turned on yesterday, it, the pipes blew. So we've been working on plumbing all day. Thanks to my friend, Beth Wes. But, yeah, this is what I did. I'll show you guys more as we do it, but I wanted to finally let the cat out of the bag, show y'all what I did, okay? All right, see y'all. Okay, you this is the back of it. I'm going to replace it, you know. But, but like I said, you know, too, when, when a place stays and where people, you know, haven't lived in it or whatever. Yeah, it does its thing. My grandmother, I mean, you know, it looked better when she lived here. It'll get work done to it. And it'll but I'm going to tell you what, now, uh, like paint, I mean, it would look a lot better even if it was painted, you know. Yeah. So. Oh, it's going to get painted probably this next week. Oh, there. I'll tell you, I'd <laughs>